Hello, this is Adam at DevelopPHP.com and welcome to part 2 of creating a 3D vector Christmas scene using fireworks. Let's grab an ellipse. We're going to make a snowman. We're going to put it right here. Now just make sure the fill color on it is solid and it matches this blue right there because it's going to be a snow covered object. I'm going to start right about here. That's where he's going to be sitting. Maybe even up a little bit higher. I'm going to highlight it and go down to filters. I'm going to give it an inner shadow. The inner shadow is going to be white on the edge where it would be facing the moon. Right about there. And you can bring that in as much as you want for the brightness effect that, you, that you're looking for. And if you want to darken up the other edge, what you can do is give this a gradient radial and where it is white, you can make it this dark color. And then drag that to the back side, something like that. And maybe not even that dark that looks kind of fake. But what we'll do is make it a little bit lighter than that dark color. And there you go. Okay, now I'm going to fade out that inner shadow just a little bit more. Like that. And then I'm going to highlight my shape and adjust the height just a little bit more. Bring it down. Then I'm going to select the object. Press Control c Control v Now the one on top. I'm going to hold Shift and resize just a little bit. Maybe like that. I'm going to drag that up, put it on top. And I'm going to do the same thing. Control C, Control V. I'm going to zoom in by holding Control and mouse wheel this time. And resize that new copy. This one's going to serve as the head of the snowman. Make that just a little bit smaller. There you go. Right about there. So now at this point what you have is a snowman looking object. And I'm going to bring these down just a little bit. There, that looks cool. Now if you wanted this guy to be leaning a little bit, all you would do is select those two objects by holding shift while you select them. Move that one over a little bit, then deselect them, then move this one over a little bit. Then he can be leaning that way if he's on a hill, a little bit like mine is. You might want to lean it just a little bit. Who knows, I don't care. And actually mine is going to be waving towards the moon where Santa's crossing in the sleigh. So mine's going to be leaning in that direction a little bit because he's going to be waving at Santa. Now let's highlight this object and hold control and mouse wheel in or up to zoom in. What we're going to do now is grab the, you can just click on this background here or whatever if you want to deselect that object. I'm going to grab the pen tool. Now I'm going to draw like a little stick arm. So I'm going to start right about here and then just draw some wavy gnarled looking arm thing. Then bring it up a little bit right there. Then I'm going to draw like a crazy little stick hand thing. A little thumb, there's a little finger, another crazy little finger going this way. And remember it's a stick, so you don't want it to be perfect like a hand, but something like a hand. It's just going to be waving to Santa Claus, you know? Something like that. And then come down here with this, like this, and you can even make this like all bumpy like a stick. Even little waves in there. And then once you get back down to about here, we're going to make like a little web foot shape. So you click down there, make a sharp corner point, then you come out to about right here, and then you curve in like that. Then click down here to make a sharp corner point, click down here, and curve in a little bit there. And actually, we're going to move that point. So once it's all closed up like it is now, you can hit your sub-selection tool up here and move any of these points you want. I'm going to move this one up because that's what I wanted right there. And I'm going to mess with this a little bit to get the curve that I want. I'm going to highlight that shape with my... let's go back to 100% that way we don't lose perspective. Grab that shape and highlight it and you can give it any kind of fill color you want. I'm gonna give it a dark color like black and I'm gonna take the edge off of it, that white edge. And Now what I'm going to do is give it a little bit of a inner glow. So let's go to filters or not an inner glow, inner shadow. So it's inner shadow, make it white and we'll make it not so much of an inner shadow, maybe two, and the direction from the moon would be hitting it would be about right there. And we want to fade that out because that's too much. So let's bring that fade down to about two and then bring this down to about 29%. Or whatever percentage, bring it down to whatever percentage you think is best where it looks pretty clean. I think it looks good right there. Now we're going to take that, make a copy, control C, control V, place it somewhere over here. And then just make sure this item, you can hold uh, shift while you're selecting these. These three items are on top. 
So you can press Control, Shift, Up Arrow key. Then you'll have that hand, that other hand way in the back. See that? And you want to put it maybe right about there. Now hold Shift while you're selecting, and select all of the items that make up the snowman so far. Once all five are highlighted, press Control G, and that will group that. Now press Control C, Control V, so you have a copy. See that? And flip it. Once you have it flipped, we're going to go to Modify, Flatten, Selection, to make a bitmap out of it. Then we're going to go to the filters and adjust the color to where it turns black. So let's make the brightness all the way down, contrast all the way down, OK. And then let's do that one more time. Adjust color, brightness, contrast, contrast all the way up this time. OK. Now flatten that. Modify, flatten selection. You don't really have to flatten it, but I like to. Now what I'm going to do is bring it down here to where it meets up with his bottom a little bit there. And then we're going to go up to the distort tool. And you can move it up if you need to a little bit if you can't see it. Just distort it. Grab it right here and distort it this way. See? Distort it to where it, it, it would be the angle that that shadow would be cast according to where that moon is. Let's go a little bit more this way. Let's try that. So what we'll do is put that on the bottom by highlighting the snowman and pressing control shift up arrow key. Move this guy just a little bit right about there. And then you're going to go down to well, you got two options. You can go and fade him a little bit. Blur. Gaussian blur. So once you blur it down a little bit, you can press OK. Let's get it into place the best we can. And then I'm going to go up to Commands, Creative, Auto Vector Mask. And I want it to fade out this way and not this way. See? Use the one on the bottom and it'll fade on the bottom apply because this, since this slope looks like it's kind of going downhill a little bit you don't want that shadow to be 100 percent all the way through there you want it to fade out as that slope kind of goes down okay now to create some aurora lights what we're going to do is grab our pen tool and start right about here outside and we're just going to make a wavy line as we go through there by letting go and dragging you can make little waves as you go through you just get to your desired length, click, and then hold shift, and you'll make holding shift snaps it to angles. See? It snaps to 45, 90. I'm just going to snap it to 90, go up, click, let go, snap it to 90, go this way, click, let go, and then snap it right there. And what I'm going to do on the edge where it's white up there, I'm going to match it to this dark sky color, and I'm going to fade it out, the opacity all the way down. Oop, that's the wrong edge. This edge, opacity all the way down. And the edge we can still see, we're going to make that like an aurora color, which is usually like a an aqua color, kind of like that maybe. Something like that. Now I'm going to highlight that. Press Control C, Control V. So I have two of them. Press Control C, Control V. And now I have three of them. Now the one that's on the very tippy top, the one that's still selected, Instead of green, I'm going to make it a purple color. And then this one on the bottom, I'm going to make it more of an orange color, a greenish, yellowish color. And then I can select all of those just by dragging here. And you can group them at this point if you want. But what I'm going to do is offset them just a little bit. Move this one over this way a little. Move this one over along with that one just a little bit. Not all the way. Right about there. Then I'm going to highlight all three of them. Control G to group them. Then I'm going to go down to Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur. I'm going to blur those out a good bit. Not so much. Maybe right about there. And then I'm going to turn it. So I can hit the Scale tool and just turn the whole thing like that. I'm going to put it up in the corner right about there. And then I'm going to bring the opacity on that group down just a little bit. So then you get something like that. And if you want to adjust those colors, you can highlight that. Go to the sub-selection tool, and then you can click each one, you see? See that one on the bottom that's a little bit greenish-orange? I'm going to make that one a little more bluish-green, like Aurora color. And then maybe the one in the center, that's the blue one, I can make that one a little more orange. So I just didn't like the way it was layered. That looks good. 
you can mess with your colors or whatever and make sure it's faded down enough to where you can see the stars and everything behind it 